Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with pdesignworks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create a flat vector illustration of a fish. Pdesigns is all about giving you guys step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use both Photoshop and Illustrator softwares to create outstanding graphic design works. From logo and illustration tutorials to effects and image retouching tutorials all at Pdesigns. If you know that's the kind of content you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so as not to miss any future updates. Let's get right into it. Alright, we have a 1920 by 1080 pixel art board here. The first thing we'll do is bring in the image. So you go where your image is located and then drag it in like this. You scale up using Alt and Shift. So we, we are going to crop the unwanted parts out like this. apply horizontally and vertically so then now we scale up so you can get the image in the description box below so we'll open our layers panel and then lock it you create another layer and we can name this outlines so we'll be using a stroke width of five pixel five points i mean remove the fill we come to the strokes and turn on the rounded caps and rounded corners and then we click on the pen tool and start drawing the outlines like this we press escape and then Continue from this side like this. Control to drag a bit lower. So I can draw this side as well. Well, this part as well. So don't worry about all these strokes overlapping. So we are going to correct that. Get our ellipse tool. Shift to drag. It be that too. I remove all these parts. This. So now let's select everything and select the shape you that too. So we'll remove all the overlapping strokes. I think that's all. Alt to remove. So we can draw this as well. Copy by holding Alt, duplicate Ctrl D to duplicate the rest like this. So select everything again, shape you that tool, then using Alt to remove all the unwanted strokes. So the next part is to create the eyes. So you click on your ellipse tool and then holding shift, you draw a perfect circle. Like this. 
Alt and Shift to scale down a bit. That. Click on it. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl F to paste in front. So we have two circles here now. So you swap the one on top to fill, and then scale down like this. Like this. You copy again. Ctrl C and Ctrl F and then scale down to draw like an highlight in the eye make this white Select again, shape it out all. So the next thing now is to create another layer. So we'll name it color. But before coloring, we have to make sure there are some closed strokes. So that's what will help us to color it faster. So I'm selecting some of the strokes, the important strokes. So to make sure they are closed, you click on the shape builder tool and then click all this. So it forms its own closed shape like this. So each of these are their own boxes like this. Like this. So we can add this as well. So see that they are separate like this. So now what we can do is select them. We can select this fish eye as well. And then using Alt, you drag it down to the color. Come to this color. And then swap like this so here are the colors we are using for it these three colors so let's use this first this is for the body of the fish this is for the for this side all this side For this like this okay this was not selected alt color swap okay we've gotten the basic colors so the next thing is we we'll remain this side so what we can do is lock this outline and then select the color layer then this is the color we want to color here so instead of using that style you can also use this and color it straight up like this just like when you are drawing your stroke like this so this color should be darker darker shade yeah this this should be a lighter shade so i think this is the basic colors so now we'll create another layer this will be the shadows like this so we'll create a shadow area on the upper side and create another one on the lower side like this a darker shadow a lighter shadow so to do that we'll just click on this remove the fill then draw so bring back the fill and change the fill to black so we 
reduce the opacity to like 20 percent like that so this is the upper side now we'll draw another shadow here as well remove the field again and then draw it will bring back the field and then change the color to white it's a white color white so now this We'll change the opacity to 40 percent now there will also be some shadows here remove the fill again now we add fill to everything like this Then we change it to black and make it 20% like that. So this eye color make it lighter, a lighter shade like this. So we can also add a bit of shadow at the tail of the fish here. So make sure the shadow is still clicked on. Remove the fill. Put back the fill, make it black, 20%. Can use the copy shot tool, make it a bit curved. remove it and we have our fish illustration there's one final correction here first select it undo select it then click on the reservoir tool then draw in this and we have our fish illustration if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And please remember to like as well so as to help others find this video. Also subscribe and click the notification bell so as not to miss more content like this in the future. Thank you.